Working remotely has become a permanent part of certain jobs, mostly due to the pandemic, but it's raised the issue of a cut in pay, with some employers trying to reduce salaries because of the shift in model. Here to talk more about this situation is employment lawyer Alex Luchifero. Alex, first of all, let me ask you straightforward, can an employer force an employee who's been working remotely to return to the workplace? Well, if that employee has been working remotely, Matt, uh, because of the pandemic, because of COVID-19 as a temporary measure, then the answer is yes. An employer can indeed ask that employee to return back to work and legally and rightfully so. If instead, however, that employee has always worked uh, remotely or a term of their employment is that they are able to work remotely regardless of COVID, regardless of the pandemic, then, well, no, an employee has the right to enforce that term of employment and refuse the return back to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now again, and the big question, and we've seen a couple situations arise too, is a company allowed to cut someone's pay if they decide to continue working remotely on a permanent basis? Yeah, and concerningly, Matt, we, we've seen that uh, a little bit uh, over the past few months, and the short answer is no, actually. An employer is not allowed to cut an employee's pay, even if it is because they're working remotely, or quite frankly, for any other reason, for that matter, a reduction in pay is what we call a constructive dismissal. It is a significant change to the terms of an employee's employment, and that allows the employee to either reject the change and say, no, you cannot change my compensation, or alternatively, if the employer forces that change on the employee, gives them no choice, that employee can treat their employment as terminated and obtain severance based on their full compensation package, not the reduced one that they're being forced to accept. Okay, and in the same, I guess along the same note of this too, is that the only change in pay can come from if an employer and an employee or a worker agree to that change, correct? Yes, of course, if an employee agrees to the change, that it's it's not an issue. But, you know, pay, for example, is pretty much the most forces that change on the employee, gives them no choice. That employee can treat their employment as terminated and obtain severance based on their full compensation package, not the reduced one that they're being forced to accept. Okay, and in the same, I guess along the same note of this too, is that the only change in pay can come from if an employer and an employee or a worker agree to that change, correct? Yes, of course, if an employee agrees to the change, that it's, it's not an issue, but, you know, pay, for example, is pretty much the most important term of employment, I'm sure we all uh, agree. And so I don't think you'll see an employee accepting a pay change, again, even in the context of being able to work from home. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we think of this logically, it's actually the employer that's saving the cost there of having to, uh, you know, furnish an office for that particular employee. So the employer is saving costs on that side of things. Why then would the employee be forced to accept a pay cut? It just doesn't make sense. And again, an employee does have rights, does have protections in that situation. They don't need to accept the pay change. Right. Okay. Certainly and always interesting as we talk about some of these changes, especially after the pandemic. Uh, employment lawyer Alex Luchifero, always appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for this. Thanks for having me.